Hello, hello, hello. Time yes to run. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you guys in advance. You already know what it is, my loves. Kick your feet up. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit, and get comfortable, because we about to make it do what it do, love, okay, we're going to jump into this, let's give it a good shuffle, this is a love channel only, all we talk about over here is plain old regular love, okay, um, we do pick up on divine connections, family, friends, and karmic energy do come through at times, so take what resonates, guys. Leave what doesn't. We're going to jump in and see what's going on in your love life. What do you need to know right now for your greatest and highest good collective energy? Ooh, I'm not in reverse. So we have the five of rings, the five of pentacles in reverse. So somebody was insecure, no longer insecure. Couldn't see something. If somebody was blinded to something, couldn't see something here. Maybe they couldn't see that you were their person. They couldn't see that they were supposed to be with you here. Um, maybe you didn't see something about your person. Maybe there were some red flags here. Because this red apple is right up here. Maybe there were some red flags that you didn't see. This person could have had some type of insecurities here. But I do feel like someone is trying to release their insecurities. Tell me more. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. So we have a queen of mirrors here, the bitch. Um, I believe mirrors is the wands. So this bitch energy here. So the queen of wands here, uh, Leo Aries, Sagittarius energy. So someone is releasing someone that's insecure. The daydreamer. There was somebody here, I'm going to just tell y'all, that was in bitch-ass energy that has somebody insecure. I feel like they're releasing this insecurity, no longer listening to the bitch. This could be somebody's mother with this Queen of Wands energy. Tell me more. The first date. Maybe somebody think you a bitch. I'm just going to tell y'all, hey, and they was insecure to come towards you to ask you out for a first date here because they thought... Then maybe you was you was in this bitch ass energy. Oh, you may be this Queen of Wands energy here too, babies. Um, because it says the Beauty Queen down here, Queen of Roses, Miss USA second place, and the fans. Okay, so it's two people here, we all, and the fans is watching. This person's into you. Okay. Okay. So there was a group of people, some fans, some outside people, third parties, karmic ass energies, that was making this person insecure, okay? They could have told this person that you were a bitch because they realized this person was into you, okay? This person wanted to come date you. They wanted to bring you some type of offer here. But these people made this person feel like they were not enough. But it was this Queen of Roses here, the second place. The beauty queen. So there was somebody here. I feel like with this beauty queen who, who felt like they looks could get them what they wanted. And they ended up getting second place. And they said you was the bitch. Or you could be the beauty queen and this karmic could be the bitch. And this karmic could have their friends watching you because your person is into you want to give you the rose want to come in and give you the offer here but your person was insecure in the past because of whatever these friends or these fans i'm like they're your fans they watching you they your fans they really <laughs> they really <laughs> they watch you so much that they really like you here yeah I don't know what's going on with this love life. Silver lining. So, 
they feel like with the six of mirrors here, um, they could have been pouring into you and into somebody else here. But they see you, they see you as someone that they can have victory and success with ever since the first date, or they're hoping they can have victory and success with you dating you here. With the silver lines, it's the six of wands, victory and success on this date here. They want victory and success. So there's somebody here, y'all, that was insecure because of an outside person and some friends. Or people just around them, a, a group of fans. People that have been watching and stalking you. And they were upset or angry, this bitch, because this person was into you and this person wanted to date you. So you could be the beauty queen and this karma could be the bitch, y'all. Okay? Cause this person to be insecure. Clarify the beauty queen. Let's see what comes out. And I'll tell y'all for sure who is who or where you need to put it, how I'm reading it. Look, I got the contestant, the jeweler. Yeah, so this person want to come give you the offer. This You're the beauty queen here, guys, okay? Yeah, you get this person butterflies. They want to come give you the ring. You're the, you're the other contestant. So they tried to put you in second place here. Even though you really are the queen of roses. You're the loving one. You're the beauty one. You're the beautiful one. You're loving in and out. You know your um, you know your worth here. And this person wants to date you. And they're hoping for which fulfillment with you here. But there is a third party and a group of people attached to this third party. That is trying to keep this person stuck in these insecurities. Making them feel like they're not good enough. Because this person is into you. So this person could have, and this could be somebody's baby mama or a baby daddy here. Um, the seven of pentacles here. I feel like this person was holding, it says for the right reasons here. I feel like this person was holding on to whoever this third party was. Um, these multiple options because they had a child with them or they had some type of connection with this person. Yeah, and I feel like you removed yourself because you refused to be part of the third party situation. So you did a self elimination, ate a flute. You walked away from this connection because you refused to be a third party. Okay, maybe this person thought you was insecure, but you wasn't. You knew your worth. Yeah, now this person is walking away being a single dad from the bitch, the baby mama. Can y'all see that? Okay, I just want to make sure y'all can see that. King of flutes. So I feel like this king of swords, because this king of flutes, has stood up and spoke their truth. But it took for you to walk away from this person, because you self-eliminate. You've removed yourself from the situation. Right? And this person is ready to be a single dad. They're walking away from the bitch, because they're into you. And the family, the friends, whoever the bitch is, man or woman, got their little crew. They, they watching you walk away. They were shocked. They didn't think you was going to walk away. They possibly thought you was insecure too. Yeah, but you didn't have time for the drama. You was cool on the selling the roses. No time for the drama. No time for the illusions. No time for the games. No time for people hiding masks. I also feel like your person has had enough. The single dad has had enough of the drama. Because they coming back a single dad, Okay. And that you're the next destination. Three of Roses. They coming back towards you um, for reconciliation with these Three of Cups energy. Yeah, whoever this third party is, they in the hot seat right now, though. Something, it, it, something went on. Something's burning up. This could be like a tower with the fire here. Yeah, and, and your person won't fresh meat. They headed towards you, Ace of Mirrors. The Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning with you. Yeah, they have cut the tie, seven of flutes, um, with whoever this bitch is. The bitch can be a man or woman. Y'all put it how it go for you. But they've edited. They cut the ties with this person. Yeah, they finna come take this leap of faith. Eight of, eight of Roses. They walking away and headed towards you. The 
take a leap of faith here in a connection with you. So if you were dealing with somebody that had a baby mama, baby daddy, um, a mama, a daddy, they friends, they family, that was all up in the middle of y'all shit, um, this person or these people told this person that you was insecure. You know what I'm saying? That they could do you or treat you any old kind of way. You wasn't going to go nowhere. Right? But when you packed your shit with this eight of flutes and then removed yourself because you refused to be part of the third party, you refused to go along with this bullshit, it shocked the shit out of these people. And now this person has realized that, oh, they really want to be with you, so they have to walk away from whoever this baby's mother, baby's father, the third parties is. I do feel like the third parties is upset because this person is into you and they tried to cause this person a lot of drama. But this person wants to come in and date you. They see the victory and success here with you. They see you as the winner and they're headed towards you here. Yeah, see, this, this baby mama thought you were supposed to be second place. You know what I'm saying? They thought that they was going to keep their baby daddy. I'm just reading how the pictures go because it can be switched the other way around, y'all. But this baby mama thought they was going to keep their baby daddy. You know, to go hit it whenever they wanted to. They wasn't in, they meant, okay, her down in the commitment. But she felt like she could hit it whenever she wanted to. Because that's her baby daddy. And, you know, possibly with other girlfriends. Because I feel like they've been separated for a while. But with other girlfriends, you know, whatever she wanted, she could just hop in there and get it and then go back. Because he allowed it. But I feel like with you, it was different. And now he knows he, ha he can't play this game that he's played in the past. You know, with the baby mama and other women. Not to be with you. So now he's dropping the mask. Because he wants victory and success. And he's headed towards you here. And y'all, y'all know he can be she, okay? If you're a man watching. But now they want to come present you with this ring. You give them butterflies. You make them happy. They see engagement. They see something long term here. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. So I do feel like whoever this um, karmic is, this third party, whether it's a mother, um, a baby's mother, um, the friends, the family, they didn't get wish fulfillment. Now they're walking around with shattered dreams. They're having nightmares. They're unhappy. They're devastated. They're in misery. They're in this lack of fulfillment here. Because this person is, is literally walking away from them and would rather be a single dad or a single mom and, and than to miss out on this love. Yeah, and whoever this, the, the, the third party is, they're discontent. They were trying to keep this person stagnant. They're in this negative energy. Um, they're very impulsive with the hangman in reverse. Detached. Yeah, they wanted this person to be detached from you. They were trying to keep keep this person stuck with them. And they're no longer stuck. They're detaching. Because they're not content here with this person. Yeah. Seven of Cups. It was a bunch of illusions. They realized this person came at them with a bunch of illusions. And I do feel like your person had a lot of options. The third party was the option. Choices, multiple possibilities, opportunities, picking and choosing, decisions, procrastination. Dreaming, fantasy, illusions, wishful thinking, imagination, hallucinations. So this third party was wishfully thinking that, you know, they were still going to be there. Even though they was into you, they were still going to get the offer. You know, they'd still be able to pop in and pop out. Keep the person stuck. They never thought their baby mama or baby daddy would release them. Even though they knew their baby mama or baby daddy was dealing with other people. Okay. Tell me more. Yeah, they didn't want this person to come give you this offer. They knew that if this person came towards you, you guys could have like a new financial beginning together. Um, you guys would have security, stability. This person is manifesting you in, into their life. And they was coming to give you the offer. Maybe they didn't want this person to give you the money. Yep, they didn't want you to have reconciliation. They did not want you guys to come together. 
This person is upset that this person is going to come give you this offer. Some type of reunion, a celebration. They want to socialize. They want to gather with you. Okay? They want to come offer you a wedding, engagement, graduation, baby shower, happy times, happiness. Um, They want to come celebrate with you. They want reconciliation with you. They see a friendship with you and potential for abundance with you. And the third party is upset because this person is no longer stuck. And the friends and family, everybody that's watching, thought that maybe it's something about you that they thought you was going to be insecure, that you would stay, that you would have stayed in this. And, it, and you didn't. I feel like there were people in this person's ear telling them to keep both, keep both. And it didn't work out that way. Yeah, Page of Pentacles in reverse. They got bad news. In earthly matters, lack of gold, lacking common sense, irresponsible. Now everybody's sitting over there with their mouth all open and wide because the shit didn't work out because you walked away. And I feel like that's your person. Yeah, because you put an end to this shit. So your person is now putting an ending to whoever this baby's mother or baby's father or whoever the bitch is. They're going through a spiritual transformation, new beginnings, letting go, endings, change, transition, sudden or unexpected upheaval, endings, release. Because they're into you. And they, they see victory and success with you. Yeah. I do feel like they both are up under judgment. But I do feel like your person is going through a self-evaluation at this time, an awakening. They want to come in and renew with you. They're trying to gain their composure. They're getting decisive. They miss you here. Um, in the past, they could have made some kind of snap judgments. They could have uh, reapportioned the blame. But now they want forgiveness from, from you. They want forgiveness because they do see success with you, achievement with you, accomplishment. They want to travel, completion, fulfillment, fulfillment, sense of belonging, wholeness. I told you they want, the next destination is you. The next destination is you. So they're closing out old cycles. So they can come towards you and have this reconciliation. Okay? They have went through some type of karma, some type of judgment. They are afraid of your judgment that you may say no when they come to try to present you with this offer. Because they did try to put you in some type of third party situation. They tried to have you and still hold on to a baby's mother or a baby's father or a past connection here. Somebody who thought a friend would benefit. Somebody who thought that they was never going to let them go. They had them stuck. Your person is no longer stuck. And you blocked whatever this offer was. Okay? Now they want to come in and have a truce. Yeah, so they're coming towards you. They're trying to manifest this brand new beginning with you. Um, You over here sitting in your creativity. You took the action and walked away. You're standing in your power. You out here manifesting what's good for you. Um, There could have been some magic done. The third party and these and and the little minions could have done some type of magic, and then it didn't work out in their favor. That's where this bad news came in in earthly matters, the lack of the goals because they were lacking common sense. They were irresponsible, and the shit backfired. You could have the gift of gab, but I do feel like you're still in your willpower. You're directing your will. You have this creative visualization, and you're manifesting your desires. And being a third party was not part of that. Maybe getting your person was. And you're manifesting this person into your life. We'll see. Well, well we know they're coming back. They're on their way back for sure, guys. Okay? Yeah, they're on their way back as a single dad or the single mama to offer you this cup of love. One of the new beginning, new relationships, a new, romance, a new romance, love, happiness, joy, conception, fertility, pregnancy, celebrations, and socializing here. And they're coming in quickly, baby, with the chariot. To give you this love. They want victory. They're overcoming their obstacles. They see success here with you. They're ambitious. They're determined. They have willpower now. They have control. They're self-disciplined. They're ready to come in and put the hard work in and be focused when it comes to you. They're done with the drama. They're leaving the drama. And they're headed towards you. You are their next gener your next generation. Their next destination here. They want to come in and bring you these gifts. They want to be generous. They want to provide some type of charity or donation, some type of money. Okay? They want to come in and support you. They see kindness here, wealth, prosperity, power, authority. 
They want to invest in you, invest in this connection now. They want a passionate new beginning. New beginnings, good news, physically starting something, creative spark, new initiative, finding new passion, enthusiasm, urgency, accepting the challenge, potential talent, and growth. This person, I feel like, is rejecting or releasing whoever this toxic person was that was trying to keep them bound. This devil energy here. Capricorn energy. We got, uh, let me tell y'all what's down here. So we got uh, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Pinnacle. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Pinnacle. <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Look like everybody down here, y'all. The Virgo, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Leo, Aries, Taurus with the fixed signs here, Aquarius with the fixed signs, Pisces, a lot of water, y'all. Whoever this is, they're all in their emotions and feelings for sure. Capricorn in my hand, Leo, the lion. Yeah, so this person is releasing the negative energies. Um... Yeah, they dropped the tower. Y'all see that? On that third party. And coming towards the happiness, which is you. Positivity, freedom, fun, success. They're remaining optimistic. Vitality, joy, confidence, self-expression, good luck. Enthusiasm, happiness, truth, openness, pregnancy. They do know that you're in this Queen of Swords energy, guys. You got your guard up, but you may be open to hear them out. It says honest, truthful, candid, protective, independent. Chatty, community, witty, funny, principled, fair, constructive, criticism, strong, quirky, re realistic, object, object well, I can't talk, objective, and discerning. So they know if they come towards you, they got to come towards you honest. They got to tell you the truth. You're not with the bullshit. You're not going to deal with their bullshit. Um, the moment that you feel or think that they're not being honest with you, you're going to cut that ass right back out. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. Let's go over here. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. So they're realizing that this third party was a liar. The third party was a liar. A mistress. I told you I feel like this person was a friend with benefits or a baby mama. There go that baby at the bottom of the deck. But I don't feel like they were still in a connection. I felt like, you know, this is, this is, we not committed, but whenever I want it, whatever I need, you always there. You got my back. I can come have sex with you whenever I want to because you mine. You mine. That type of energy. Yeah, now your person want to come tell you that they're sorry. Because they listen to this liar. A karmic connection. They now realize that this third party was a karmic. Yep, it could have been somebody they had a baby with. They could have lied about um being pregnant. Now your person trying to heal. Getting out into nature because they want a new beginning with you. And they want to come in and renew your love. Yeah, whoever this third party was, they used their body. They used sex to try to trap this person, to keep them stuck. Sex, and they could, like I said, they could have had a child with this person, or they could have said they were pregnant. Now this person want to come date you. Look, masculine energy. They know they hurt you. They got hurt as well. Karma's a bitch, right? But they're walking away from this third party because they want to come towards you and be all in. They want the family with you. They see you as the husband, the wife, the mama, or the daddy to their kids. They want the family, the husband, the wife, and the kids with you. All in. Now they're trying to find the right words because they want you, this, and us. Okay? And they're hoping that you look at it from their point of view because they want you to know that they do love you and you are always on their mind. And they want to come in and rekindle the fire here with you. It's true love when it comes to you. They want you to know it's true love. Trust in this. You mean the world to them? And they want to come in and rebuild the trust with you here. They said, let's try. Let's try. Okay? So they want to try. 
And they want to try being committed. They want to try with you if you want to try with them. And they hope you do. They will be coming around in a very short period of time here. Wanting to try. And then once again, this is a general read. Please get it personal. Your person may not be coming back. You may be watching, hoping, wishing, and praying this is for you. And, and feeling like it resonates and it's not your story. You may be feeling like it don't resonate and it is your story. So please get a person to find out. These are general. Okay? When is this person coming towards my collective? When is this person coming towards my collective? Well, my collective expect some type of communication with this person to come back. For some of you guys, it's going to be within a year, between now and a year. When is this person coming back? For some of you guys, it'll be in February. And for some of you guys, it's happening right now, in progress now. Bottom of the deck says in July. Y'all know I like to. Double clarify time period see if we can get even better. Like, what is this in progress now? And well, we know we're February and within a year. Within a year, though, guys, is any time between now and a year. A year at the most, okay? And if they were married, then and they got to get a divorce, it's going to take a year, okay? So just know that. Okay, first card out. Six weeks to six months. Virgo energy. Close. Five weeks to five months. Leo energy. One final. They gave us two. Oh, look at God. Okay. One week to one month for in progress now. And also five days to five weeks for in progress now. So we got double five weeks. Five, five, five may be significant as well, guys. Okay. Um, so one week, five days, one month. Five weeks to six weeks, and then five to six months. Okay? Time of life at the bottom of the deck. That's a right now card. So between five days and a year, y'all. <laughs> um, what's five? It's five months from now, February. What's the day? October, November, December, January, February. That's four months. March. So March. Okay? February, March time. For that five months, six months energy. So spring, y'all. February to April for some of you guys. Um, for those of us right now, anywhere between five days and a month. Everybody else is between five weeks in this year. Okay? So hopefully it resonates. Oh, they said pull Zodiac. Let's pull some Zodiac signs for y'all real fast. And close this read out. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. Got two straight out the back. So we got Leo, so double Leo. We got Scorpio. That was that death card that popped out earlier. We got Aquarius. We have Aries, double Aries here. We have air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have Capricorn. That was the devil. Anything else? Okay. We have fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and Gemini. Bottom of the deck, we have Virgo. So if it resonates with you guys, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my TT babies.